Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today we're going to be featuring Nut Hunt by Pine Island Games. If you are looking for a fun family night game or something with just a little bit of take that to have a good time with, this might be the game for you. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. This is Nut Hunt, a adorable family weight little game, like I said, all about running across the forest and doing your best to well, forage for the winter. However, there will be a pesky fox that is annoying you along the way. An accessible, lightweight drinking game or family game with some very simple, approachable rules. Super easy, very quick. You basically have to move your fox by rolling the dice. He corresponds to the different directions. If he scatters any squirrels, you're grabbing nuts, you're moving the squirrels around, making sure that the squirrels stay away from where the fox used to be. And then after that, you decide if you're gonna recruit a squirrel in a new area, if you're gonna harass the fox to run under your area so that you can move your squirrels again, or are you looking for more objective cards because that's how you score points in the game? Yeah, the straightforward version of this game is you're trying to connect interlocking regions to other interlocking regions. For instance, the rabbit patch to the tangle will go ahead and score me three points at the end of the game. Now, the complicated part of this is you need those pathways to be connected when the game actually finishes, after uh, one player has all four nests placed out onto the board. That's correct. That means that wherever the fox is and however he is interacting with or harassing your squirrels on the board could be helping you or hurting you along the way. You'll have a series of these cards, all of which have variable points and variable locations you're going for, and everyone around the table will be incentivized to manipulate the fox. Now, when I first approached the game, I initially thought, I don't love dice rolling mechanics. Like, I don't mm -hmm. love something randomly determining where the creature goes. That's true. That being said, this spinning wheel of the fox on the board feels more like squirrels pelting him with acorns and directing his attention mm -hmm. than it does like a fox praying for you. This is a game about harassing this creature to be where you need him to be at the time you need him to be there. The because reason for that is you can't move into certain areas of this board. And you're also trying to stop someone else from creating connections from one place to another. So if you're able to harass the, the fox into your area, you could move your squirrel to a, a location that isn't even allowed to have squirrels on it for recruitment. Uh, but you can get there if you get harassed or scattered into there. But you could also break connections from somebody else so that way they're not able to make that final connection. And then when you place your nest that turn, you've managed to win the game. Well, and the fact that you get to control the fox along the way as well is a nice little incentive, right? Because mm -hmm. when he shifts in a random direction, you can pull him back to the side of the board that you want him paying attention to. So, Nut Hunt. Let's dig into some of the core elements or, or structure of the game. At the start of the game, you're going to have a set of cards. You can discard down to two, uh, but you could always draw up on your turn... As an optional movement, To yes. try to search for more locations to score points. As you move the fox, you'll be collecting resources, pecans, acorns, chestnuts, and walnuts, mm -hmm. and these will allow you to recruit new squirrels around the outside of the edge of the board. Because each individual tile has a different... A requirement for how many nuts and what type of nuts are available or, or that you need to be able to place a squirrel in that particular location. As the fox runs into a location, you'll grab whatever nuts are at that location, scurrying out to the edge of the forest line and avoiding his gaze. Now, you could draw him back into a region as another objective action, or you could choose to spend some of the nuts that you have to spawn another squirrel. Like you said, each location has its own restrictions on what type of squirrel can be spawned there, and so you'll place it down accordingly. Now, like you said, there are some locations like the Pine Barrens here that have some limitations on them. For instance, right. you cannot recruit into that spot. Mm -hmm. And some of the higher point scoring cards require you to connect to the Pine Barrens, meaning you need to direct the fox over and have him scurry your own critters off to the side. Now, there are nests. Nests drive endgame, mm -hmm. and one of the ways that you get the nests out onto the board is by either recruiting into an area, so now you have three squirrels in the same spot, or potentially by harassing the fox and moving him in so that he pulls another squirrel into your area and you now have three, that instantly makes a nest happen. And nests are important because they're anchors. The fox can't move them. The fox can't move them and you scare all other squirrels out of the region you're currently standing in. When the nest is made, absolutely. Which can be a very good way to, again, break that line uh, and make some of that take that element even more entertaining. 
Overall, I, I really like the artwork of this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's very cute. They're going to have, instead of these plastic uh, meeples I saw on TTS, they're going to have actual customized little squirrel meeples oh, that's cute. Uh, for each player, and the nests are going to be a little bit more thematic as well. This is, of course, a prototype we're working with. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not a overly advanced game. No. But for a lightweight, approachable family or kind of evening-style game, yeah. it, it has a lot going for it. It really does. This was actually quite fun to play, and it fits the, the that new niche in between like hey we're gonna play something really heavy but let's play a quick game just to you know have some fun together you can play up to five people with this so i think it's a really great game for for that fun niche well, and in the in the three to four player count I, i'd say four is probably my pre preferred player count because you get a lot more take that a lot more randomness mm -hmm. uh on the board here now two players it's more of a strategic connect your lines and decide when you want to drive end game very much so. uh it's a fun head-to-head -head, but i think a little bit more chaos on the board definitely gives me the feeling of being a bunch of squirrels scurrying around the forest and creating a bunch of chaos. Definitely so. Uh, overall, that's that's Nut Hunt. It is a uh, fun, approachable little party game over on Kickstarter, so you can follow the link in the top of the video description to go check it out. Yeah. Uh, let us know if you have any questions, and uh, with that, we'll see you next time.